What is going on Wildlife X team? This is Michael here and in today's video we're going to be going over some of the most dangerous desert wildlife animals. The desert is incredibly hot by day and it can get very chilly at night. There's usually hardly any rainfall in the desert as well so it is one of the harshest climates for humans to try survive in. If you're ever lost or camping in the desert you should know about these dangerous wildlife animals and creatures so that way you know how to avoid them, what they look like, and what to do around these wildlife animals. In the next video, we're also going to be discussing how to survive with no food and no water in the desert, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see that amazing video as well. Without further ado, these are some of the most dangerous desert wildlife creatures out there. Also note, this list isn't in any particular order. We're going to go over how dangerous the creature is going to be, as well as some of the effects it might have, and you're going to get an image of what the desert wildlife or animal or creature looks like. Number one on the list are rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes have very, very poisonous venom and they attack very, very quickly. There are several other types of snakes in the desert, and a lot of them are going to be very dangerous as well, primarily because they attack very quickly. Snakes actually are quite fast creatures, so if you're near a rattlesnake and it seems to be a little bit aggressive or you're kind of being a little bit mean towards it and it feels like it has to be defensive, it can jump up and attack you very quickly. If you've ever seen a wild animal or a live animal get eaten by a snake, they actually attack very quickly. First they're just on the ground and then boom, they make a decision, they will wrap over your arm or uh, the wildlife animal that they're attacking and then they'll bite it and they'll slowly hold on to it. Now it's probably not going to hold on to you, it's not going to try to eat you, it's not going to try to kill you, but if it does feel threatened or if it's in a very aggressive mood, then it might jump out, bite you, and sometimes they have dry venom or it's a dry bite, meaning that you're not going to get injected with venom. However, one way or another, if you get bitten by a rattlesnake, you're going to want to get checked out immediately because the venom can cause headaches, vomiting, sickness, and in some cases it can even be fatal. The next creature on this list is a scorpion. Scorpions look very creepy just because they have that long tail up, they're kind of predators, and they're just a little bit creepy to look at. They have the same attack style as a rattlesnake in that they move quite slowly and they seem to be hindered slightly, but when they're ready to attack, boom, they make the attack and they have you. Now, the venom in a scorpion is not going to be near as dangerous as that of, of a rattlesnake. You're more likely to die from rattlesnake venom than you are scorpion venom. However, the bite or the sting that you're going to get from a scorpion is going to be considerably more painful than a rattlesnake bite. And also, it might get infected and it's probably going to be very red, it's going to hurt, it's going to hurt the touch as well as the area around it. Again, just like a rattlesnake, if you get stung by a scorpion, there's a high probability that you'll be okay, that you'll just have a headache, or you'll feel a little bit nauseous and sick, or maybe it might even be a dry sting and that you won't have much venom inside of you. But still, if you get stung by a scorpion, you should get checked out immediately, because in some cases, it can be fatal. Number three on the list is the black widow spider. The black widow spider actually isn't as dangerous as the public makes it out to be. It's made out to be this very creepy, scary insect which is also going to be very poisonous and while its venom is quite poisonous, there actually haven't been that many fatalities, if any at all, that have been linked to a black widow bite. However, if you do get bitten, you should still get checked out as it's going to lead to other symptoms like headache, nausea, you're going to feel really fatigued and there are some other things out there as well. Black widows are very easy to identify because they have a huge black uh, back and they have usually what appears to be like a red hourglass on the back behind them. They're usually a little bit larger on the spider side as well and so they're pretty easy to identify and as long as you're not doing anything stupid or crazy um, or trying to get bitten by a spider, you're probably not going to get bit. These spiders are going to be much more scared of you than you are scared of them. There's the same thing with tarantulas, which can be found in the desert as well. Tarantulas, yeah, they're fairly dangerous, but the actual probability of getting hurt by a tarantula is going to be very low. I'm sure you've seen videos on the internet of a tarantula walking on somebody's arm. That's because the creatures aren't going to be that aggressive, and I have personally came across several tarantulas as I'm hiking in the desert, and when you're walking up near close to them, usually they'll kind of 
get closer together and they'll try to go under a rock or in the shade just to hide from you because they're very afraid of you. You know, they're, the, they're these uh, small little creatures and we're these big humans. So again, if you get bit or stung by any of the above creatures, make sure you get checked out just to be safe. And in case you have any other health complications or potential allergies, you're going to want to be safe. But odds are, especially for a black widow or a tarantula, they're probably not going to cause any problems. Number four on the list is centipedes. Centipedes are very creepy looking creatures. They can crawl around and some of them aren't poisonous at all or they really don't have too much venom. For example, there's a lot of centipedes in the Midwest which aren't going to be as harmful, but in the Southwest United States of America, that's when you're gonna have a little bit more of the dangerous centipedes, but even then, there have been, as far as I know, no fatalities linked to centipedes. However, getting bit by a centipede is going to be very painful. Number five on the list is a very creepy and potentially dangerous one. Africanized bees and killer bees are a huge issue in the American Southwest. There was actually a death last year from a guy that was just hiking and a swarm of these bees came out and just attacked him and he, he tried to run away, his girlfriend got away, but he got stung so many times, even though he wasn't allergic, he got stung so many times, it made him become allergic and he actually died right there. You hear buzzing, stay away from it. If you attack or kill one bee, it's going to upset all of the other bees and they're all going to be aggravated to sting you. So stay away from buzzing and unless you're allergic to bees, it's probably going to be okay. Even if you get stung a few times, it's not going to do anything. If you are allergic, however, stay away from bees. That's an obvious answer. However, if you're not allergic to bees, still stay away from them because if you aggravate one of them, it's going to aggravate all of them. Africanized bees and killer bees, especially in the American Southwest, attack in a swarm. So if you hear a lot of buzzing, you might be near the nest, you might be near a group of them just kind of buzzing around. Stay away from them and seek shelter immediately, which is going to be hard in the desert. However, if you can get anywhere in cover, anywhere in water, it's going to be a lot safer. Again, there's only been a few fatalities linked to this. However, they can cause a lot of health complications, nothing long term, but it can be very, very painful getting stung a lot. It can cause headaches, nausea, temporarily paralysis if you're allergic. It can cause a lot of different things, so stay away from buzzing if you hear it in the desert. Number six and our final creature on the list would be cougars and mountain lions. Now mountain lion attacks are very, very rare, especially because we humans are taller than these creatures, so they're going to be a little bit afraid of us. They are predatory creatures in that they hunt other animals to eat them. So unless you appear sick or there's a small child running around, the probability of being attacked is going to be very, very low. However, it has happened a few times where a cougar or a mountain lion has just been super aggressive, maybe it felt defensive, maybe it was just super hungry, and it saw a human that appeared weak or small or young, and it, so it went out, attacked, and killed the human. Again, this is very rare, and we made another video on this, so you can check our videos about what to do if you find a wildlife animal like a bear or a cougar in the wild. Usually, attacks are going to occur if you're going near its cubs or its babies. Um, if you're going near that, then the attacks are primarily defensive. Predatory attacks in which a creature is hunting for food and hunting humans for food is very rare. So usually if it's going to attack, it's going to attack because it feels threatened, it feels like it's stuck in a corner. So just don't be doing anything stupid, don't attack these animals, don't go near their babies and you'll be perfectly fine. So that's it, that's six dangerous wildlife creatures that are in the desert which could be a potential hazard if you're hiking, if you're lost in the desert or if you're camping in the desert. Most of these creatures aren't going to be a problem at all. For example, the cougars, as long as you're staying away from them, they're not gonna do anything for you. But you should just keep this in mind, know what the animals look like and the insects look like, and just stay away from them and you'll be perfectly fine. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Michael with Wildlife X Team and we'll see you in the next one.